Yeah, Bob. Jack, have you seen Maeve? Been out for a half hour or so. I was with her most of the afternoon. Went to see uh, Amy's parents and the uh, doctor, and then uh, I went down to Weehawken Street. Oh, Jumbo and Lou are taking shifts at the apartment. And Maeve was going to stop by Ryan's and meet me here. Look, I want to check in with Lieutenant Jarosa. So he doesn't know any more than he did this morning, Jack. I got something to show him, though. Like what? You recognize that? Amy? Michael Pavel gave it to her years ago. She still wore it. Where'd you find this? Downstairs in the receiving room. Maeve recognized it. Michael confirmed it. Well, have you looked? Jack, we went down there. Michael and I looked all over. There's nothing down there. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a big layout, but we didn't find it. Well, maybe she slipped by you. No, 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 no. All right. All right, all right. Well, that means that when Amy came here yesterday, she went down there sometime. Yeah. I mean, trying to find something or trying to hide. All right. I spent most of the day finding out about Amy, about how, how she would try to hide. Yeah. She had plenty to hide from. Her family's a disaster, particularly your old man. Yeah, that's what Maeve said. So she would make safe places for herself. At other people's homes, with other kids. At school, with, with Michael. And when that didn't work, in her own head. She's not outside. Her arms... Did you check the path to the street, Michael? Everywhere. She's not around. Hey, you're talking about Amy. I'm talking about Maeve. I tried to tell you about it before. She came by about 15 minutes ago. We were... All three going to go down, check the basement one more time. Michael and I were working on the blueprint. She went down ahead of us. I said we'd be down a little bit later. It wasn't more than five minutes. We went down there. There's no maid down there. Well, how do you know that's where she was headed? Well, that's what she said. Oh, we didn't see her actually head down, but I, she had me there. Where else? Well, maybe she heard something, saw something. Maybe, uh, maybe she saw Amy and followed her. I don't think it's possible, Jack. I mean, it is, but I don't think so. I mean, she would have told us she was going. But... What? I don't know. was a true hero. And my fiance struggles to put her life back together. You were my best friend, John, and you left me all alone. I have to let everyone know I'm alive, but how? The wait is over. One life to live, weeknights on SoapNet. Failed calc test. Boss flipped out. Got dumped. Bad week. SoapNet's got your break from reality. Every Saturday morning, catch five hours of backstabbing, bed hopping, and breakups. Escape your drama and relive theirs. <laughs> Melrose Place in 90210, Saturday mornings, 7 to noon on SoapNet. Finally releasing from the Disney Vault. Remember the adventure. Remember the characters. Don't be Johnny Fish. Remember the music. Of Disney's timeless classic, The Little Mermaid, on two-disc DVD, October 3rd. <laughs> Allergies and sinus congestion. You've tried almost everything and still no relief. Try Benadryl D, the histamine blocker with the active ingredient proven more effective than the leading allergy medicine. Plus a powerful decongestant to relieve your worst allergy symptoms and congestion. So you can get back to work. Benadryl D, allergy and congestion relief you've been looking for. Also in children's Benadryl D. 
If you have osteoarthritis knee pain, here's some comforting news. You don't have to let OA knee pain control your life. Synvisc is an FDA-approved joint fluid treatment that may give you up to six months of OA knee pain relief without surgery. It's not a pill, and it's been used in more than 2 million knees in the U.S. In knees with osteoarthritis, the natural fluid in the knee can break down. Synvisc replaces this diseased knee fluid. To learn more, call 1-888-514-2229. Synvisc delivers great pain relief, which may improve your mobility. Synvisc may not work for everyone. Before beginning treatment, tell your doctor if you're allergic to products from birds, such as feathers, eggs, or poultry, or if your leg is swollen or infected. The most common side effects are temporary pain, swelling, and or fluid buildup around the knee. Synvisc has not been tested in children, pregnant women, or women who are nursing. To learn more, call 1-888-514-2229 or go online today. How can Soft Scrub's ultimate cleaning formula be both tough yet gentle? Allow us to demonstrate. When you clean your home with Soft Scrub, this is what the surfaces feel. Ah, nice. And this <laughs> is what the dirt and germs feel. Ouch. In summary, Soft Scrub, it's gentle on surfaces yet tough on dirt. It's the ultimate clean Frank and me? Of course. No, not of course. That's not the only bad news in my life. I'm sorry. But if you mean that, thank you. Why did I think this would work? What is this? Did you come looking for me? Yeah. Why? Because I talked to Roger and I felt badly. For? For Frank. And for you and Mr. Jones. And for me. How are you? Well, my feet are killing me. Can I sit down? You know, it would make life a lot more simpler if you just finish your sentences. I'm sorry you've lost me. Well, the first part is, how are you, Faith? The second part is, drunk or sober. You left that out. Oh. Well, how are you, Faith? Drunk? Sober? Sober. Minus one. If we both stay here, we're going to get into another battle. And I would leave, but I need to talk to Seneca. So why don't you just say, I told you so, and leave, please? I don't need to tell you, I told you so. Fine. Then just say, I'll see you soon, or something. You think there's any way the two of you might get back together? No. Have you tried talking? I guess it's too late for that. I guess it is too late. The engagement is off. We're not getting married, and we never will. As somebody said, there was one too many roadblocks. If you would just... What, listen to you? Use my head? Lied or not lied? Never met the man in room 407? That's Ken. He's gonna be dead soon. If you had just held on... Well, why don't you tell that to Frank? Because he could have done some holding on. I asked for a few weeks for a friend, and he said no. A friend? He's your lover. Faith, the man has terminal cancer. He is all alone. Yeah, he, he is my lover. And Frank did hold on for a long time, and you are right, and he is right. Now, if that solves all your little problems, why don't you just uh, stop intruding? Oh, how dare you get righteous with me? I am sick and tired of it. Well, Jill, there has been times when I've been sick and tired, too. And you did nothing but intrude. You bestowed your wisdom on me till I wanted to choke. And you still bestowed some more. I didn't come here to do that. God bless me. I came here because I'm your sister. And right now, that's the only thing you have, and that's family. A commitment you were born with, like it or not. Now, you have made a royal mess for yourself and for a man who I think deserves better. But it's happened. And I'm still your sister. 
Whatever that's works to you. Is that an offer of support? What do you think? I think it sounds like pure hostility. Met with pure rejection. Oh, no, no, because I want whatever kind of comfort you can give me. Understand me. Know where I'm coming from and care about Ken. That's what I want. What I don't want is a judging, bitter, martyred little sister. And that's what you think I am. I want you to be yourself again. What, be dumb again? No, that's not yeah, what... Yeah, no, be nice and dumb and blind as a bat. Well, I'm sorry you can't have that anymore. But wait, let me ask you something. Which is harder? For Ken to die with you? Or Frank to go on living without you? Hi. Hi. Is she all right? No. Not too many of us are. True enough. How are things with you? Okay, basically. You're interested in a medical consultation? Yes. John, how you doing? What you doing? Drawing. Yeah. Can I take a look? Hey. That's pretty good. It's can see. Yeah. Where'd you get the book? Daddy bought it for me yesterday. Oh. Well. You know something? Your daddy's a very good man. Why aren't you and daddy getting married? Where'd you hear that? Daddy was talking on the phone to Bobby. Oh. He was just falling, right? No. You know, sometimes things don't turn out the way we plan them to. And I was going to live with them. Well, they wanted that. But more than anything, your daddy wants to be with you. Now, you know that, don't you? Don't you, Johnny? Yeah. But he and Joe aren't getting married. But he promised. Well, if he could keep that promise, he would. But sometimes things change. People change. It doesn't mean they stop loving you or each other. I mean, like your friend Max. You remember him? He used to be your best friend for a long time, and then one day he and his family up and moved to New Jersey, and you don't see him that much anymore. Now, that doesn't mean you stop liking them or caring about them or forget about all those great times you had together, right? And sometimes it's, it's that way with grown-ups. People you love just can't be with you all the time. Now, you don't stop loving your Uncle Patrick or your Aunt Siobhan just because they're not around. Am I right? And I saw Aunt Mary. Yeah, well, that's different. But you understand what I mean. That your daddy still loves you. And Jill still loves you. But it looks like... You're going to live here with me and Graham for a little while longer. Now, that's not such a bad deal, is it? Jack, what's the news? Uh, have the girls turned up yet? We're, we're working on it. Uh, is Maeve there? Well, no. But she was on uh, her way to see you. I mean, she should be there by now. She was, but 
Uh, I thought maybe she'd gone back home. You haven't heard from her? No. Why, Jack? I mean, what, 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 are you, what are you trying to tell me? All right, all right, all right. Take it easy. The last thing oh. we need is for you to have a relapse. Jack, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Now, will you tell me, what, what, are you, what are you getting at? I'm at the Crystal Palace. Yeah? Maeve was here. Bob found a bracelet belonging to Amy in the basement. Maeve went down to, to look, and uh, no one's seen her. But what? You mean she's disappeared? No, I mean she's not here. Well, what's the big difference? Johnny. All right, listen to me. I'm going to get Kevin to, to stay with little John. I'll be right there. All right, just take it easy. She there? No. What the hell is going on? <laughs> new in Landview? Here's what you need to know. Yes, I need an ambulance right away. Since we know that it was not my gun that shot your father. Odds are really good, Spencer. But it was yours. Get out! Get out of my way. No! Keep up to date with One Life to Live. Weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Time Magazine calls her the fresh face of 2006. I like your poncho. There's Beauty and Ugly Betty. My dad got me one in Guadalajara. You are an attractive. It's hot. Intelligent. With brains. Confident businesswoman. Ugly Betty is one of the best new shows of the fall. Where do you come from? Queens. Thursday's Ugly is the New Beautiful. Ugly Betty premieres tonight at 8, 7 central only on EBC. With my credit, I never thought I'd qualify for a new computer. But with Blue Hippo, all I need is a home phone and a checking account, and approval is guaranteed. We're talking to people who have discovered Blue Hippo Funding's guaranteed approval program. It doesn't matter if you have bad credit or no credit, because we don't check your credit. Your approval is guaranteed with just an active checking account. I started my own home business, something I never could have done without a computer. And if you call an order now, we'll include this ultra-thin 20-inch LCD TV complete with mounting brackets and speakers absolutely free. And we'll also include this color printer absolutely free. These accessories are free when you call an order now. I don't know why anyone wouldn't take advantage of this. It's a great offer. Mom, can I go on the computer now? Oh, just a minute. This is your chance to get a brand new brand name computer from Blue Hippo, regardless of your credit. And by calling and ordering now, you'll receive this color printer and this 20 inch flat panel LCD TV for free. So call in the next 10 minutes. If you've got moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis, your future could depend on the choices you make right now. One possible future isn't pleasant, but it may be closer than you think. Because even if your RA symptoms are under control, your own immune system may be attacking your joints, progressively damaging them forever. There's another future that's possible. If you act now, you can help stop joint damage from getting worse. To learn how, call 1-800-977-8057 or go to twofutures.com to join our free Inside RA program. Learn about your risk of joint damage and about medicines proven to help keep it from getting worse. There's a special checklist that helps you understand how your RA affects you, plus a where to look, who to ask handbook for people with rheumatoid arthritis. It's your possible future and your choice to call 1-800-977-8057 or visit our website today. Dr. Joshua Larrabee thinks you have a chance of going all the way to the National Spelling Bee. In a place where dreams are hard to come by. If you want to get there, you can't be a shrinking violet. One girl will start a journey. Rashiocinating. What's the language word? Can I have the definition, please? Magical. Where the odds are a million to one. If you can't say it, you can't win it. So say it. I want to win. You want to win what? I want to win a National Spelling Bee! Yes! Akima and the Bee. Did you know that Ken George Jones was admitted last night? No. The singer? Yes. He's also my client. He's also become a very good friend. He has a tumor on the base of his spine. It's inoperable. Roger did the neurological workup last night for Dr. Loomis. I thought maybe they had discussed this with you. Well, that's the usual procedure, but I've been out of my office all day. He probably left a note on my desk. If he could get in the room, painters... Oh, well, I won't ask if we can talk there, then. Well, I'm sorry. 
If you want more privacy, we could go up to the conference room or the lounge. No, no. This is fine. Okay. Just let me leave word where King can find me. So, tell me about Ken George Jones. Are you all right? I'm sorry. That was out of order, except that I've been tuning in on so much pain lately. I, I see it everywhere. No, you see it because it's there. Kim was 10 weeks pregnant. She had a spontaneous abortion this morning. I am so sorry. 10 weeks. I know how difficult that is for you. Yeah. Of course, Kim's devastated. Cramp started when she was in a restaurant. It was all over by the time she got herself to emergency. There was nothing I could do, nothing to say, except it's all right. Does she know about Edmund? Spent the last hour at Edmund's grave. See, it's, the reaction is too big. I don't like it. It's strange because he's been in the back of my mind all day. You don't want to lose people that you love. You want to save them, keep them. So tell me about Ken George Jones. Did Roger give you a prognosis? There are still some x-rays that need to be taken, but things like cobalt and radiation and chemotherapy seem to be out of the question. He has a kidney condition that is killing him by degrees. And he also has a, a need for life to be more than just existing between these treatments. How long did they give him? Loomis won't say Roger suggests a week, five weeks. But he could live for years if he had the right kind of help. No. Okay, then months. Don't say anything until you've seen him. Well, I can tell you now that I'm likely to agree with Roger. Seneca, please. Go see him. Look at his charts and his tests and do whatever you possibly can do. Chances are one in a million. Well, don't look at it that way. See it as giving Kenna a second evaluation, a second opinion. He deserves a second opinion, doesn't he? I mean, you would want that, too, if you were in his place. Yes, of course, I'd, I'd want a second opinion. I'll arrange to examine him. Thank you. Jillian, don't hope. I won't. You have quite a bond with him. It means a, a great deal to me. Do what you can. Of course. Thanks. Next, seduction rules the bedroom and the boardroom on The Young and the Restless. Then it's All My Children, followed by One Life on SoapNet. Can't get enough of Nick and Phyllis? I'll never forget what we shared. Need to see more between Sharon and Brad? I'll always be there for you, Sharon. Now you can get your Y&R fix five nights a week. I'm going to make you the happiest woman on the face of the earth. Catch same-day episodes of Y&R, coming up next. All right, count me in. Only on SoapNet. Like it or not, here I come. America can't get enough of the view. It's bold. Brassy. You see what you unleashed? Rosie rocks the view. <laughs> What's all the fuss about? <laughs> Find out what over 4 million viewers already know. I looked up the definition of narcissism. Yes, a psychological... Wait, let me get a mirror. <laughs> the View's 10th season takes the cake. <laughs> it's a whole new view. Only on ABC. The Sleepless Twins. Jen can't fall asleep. Meg can't stay asleep. Now they take chewable midnight anytime, even the middle of the night. Midnight's natural sleep ingredients help them relax so they can sleep yet still wake alert, not groggy. Midnight, anytime. Take it back, Sophia. I said, take it back. Never take it back, Marcello. Now you can take it back with Burlington Coat Factory's new cashback policy. But chances are you won't want to. Burlington Coat Factory's new cashback policy. No Curiosity leads him. Yeah. Friendship <laughs> inspires him. An adventure follows him. Featuring Will Ferrell. What am I going to do with you? And Drew Barrymore. What happened to you? Curious George in his first full-length feature film. Now on DVD. Rated G. If there's one thing dogs love, it's meat. 
That's why we made our healthy nuggets even meatier. Crunchy on the outside and meaty on the inside. New Healthy Nuggets, only from Pedigree. Okay, Georgie, if you hear from her, you call me here. Somebody will be here. Did she show up? Oh. Uh, oh, okay, maybe, maybe you better have Frank call or come on over here as soon as he gets back. Thanks, George. So long. No sign of her, huh? Well, don't you think I would have phoned you? What kind of a moron? All right. All right, just take it easy, huh? All right, I'm taking it easy. I'm perfectly fine. All I want to know is where's Maeve? I don't know. All right, she, she, she went off looking for Amy, you said. Uh, you think? I don't know. Did you call the cops? Not yet. But what are you waiting for, man? Bob Michael is searching the uh, basement again. It's a big place. Maybe she got lost or... Uh, or what? We'll find her. She's not there. Are you sure? Yes. I went around the building outside again. I saw some cops who were looking for Ryan. I told them they said they'd do what they can. Thanks. Uh, where, where, where was the last place you saw her, huh? I told you on the phone. She was going downstairs to look for Ryan. You think there's some connection? Well, I think there's a possibility. Well, what do you mean? Let her go down there by herself. Why didn't you go Johnny, with her? Jack wasn't even there. If you want to put the blame well, on somebody... I am not blaming anybody. I just want to know what's going on here. I mean, she kind of just vanished into thin air. All right, she was here, right? And then what? Five minutes? Where is she? I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt you. But you shouldn't be here. See, this is my special place for my baby. Look at her, see? Isn't she good? Mm. Now, now we have to be quiet because she's asleep and we might wake her. She hasn't been feeling very good lately. Oh, no, that's not true. I do take good care of her. I love her. Isn't she good? That's your granddaughter. I bet you didn't think she'd turn out so well. But I do take good care of her. No, liar. You're not glad. You never were. You never even wanted me to have her. I don't care. That's OK. I don't need you or your son. We're fine right by ourselves. But Michael did love me. He told me so. We were going to be married. He did love me. Until you came along, you wouldn't leave him alone. You never liked me. I remember the first time I came over for dinner at your house. You wouldn't even look me in the eye. So then, you were so afraid I was going to take Michael away from you. You wouldn't even look me in the eye. So what did you do? You took him away from me. And you took my baby. You tried, but I wouldn't let you. I wouldn't. So now you're trying to do it again. No, don't you lie to me. I know you are. But I won't let you this time. Not now and not ever. I'm going to make sure I... The Young and the Restless hits prime time, along with all your favorite soaps. Don't miss a minute of The Young and the Restless, All My Children, One Life to Live, General Hospital, and Days of Our Lives. Tonight, starting at 7 on SoapNet.